Uh, Sheldon, bicycle safety, health, yes. uh, everyday life. All important things. Living very much. Uh, Candace is here, uh, CEO over at Hereford Regional Medical Center. Kristen De Los Santos, uh, Chief Nursing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how do I, what, what's the correct? I didn't want to say it wrong. Chief Nursing Officer. Thank you. Yeah. Chief Nursing Officer. Listen, glad to see you. I've seen y'all before a mm -hmm. lot and in, in big in your community and loving children, loving people, wanting everybody to be careful. And I think this is the time of year when people are outside and, and having fun. Agreed. It's important to be yeah. safe. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this uh, health, health fair, bicycle safety, and, and what can we expect? So this um, bicycle safety event started back in 2018 when Kristen was our ER director and trauma coordinator at the time. And for our trauma designation, we have to do community education. Gotcha. And so this was Kristen's idea to start doing a bicycle safety event because we see children getting hurt, especially in the summer, out riding bicycles sure. without helmets. And so it has just grown y every year after that. Of course, we weren't able to do it a couple of years during COVID. Right, but right. Now we're getting it started again and um, expanded this year to also partner with Amarillo College. So oh, we're good. Getting, yes. And good. vendors throughout the community have expressed an interest in as um, being involved with the health fair as well. So people can come out and their children can attend a bicycle rodeo and <laughs> helmet Fun. fitting. Oh, good. And good. then the adults can attend the health fair. That's so good. Yes. And Sheldon, I wanted to ask this question first. I, I had a family member, young, young, like maybe kindergarten, and fell on her bicycle and really hurt her head. I mean, we were like, wait a minute. Is that, people, people don't know that this can happen, they I don't, don't think. We actually had an employee after our uh, first bicycle safety in 2018 was riding um, their bike out with their family and it got hit by a car. and. <gasps> By the grace of God, he was wearing his helmet and um, saved any brain injuries from oh. it. So it's very important, very important. I'm so glad that is, that, that is so scary. And I think, I think that families really need to worry about sticking together and knowing. I don't know if everybody knows bicycle safety. When I was a kid, we just went on. Nobody, <laughs> no helmet, no, nobody told us anything. And I think, I think that's, that's changed. And so, of course, you know, important to talk about bicycle safety, like I said, getting those helmets where they properly fit to make sure, you know, not only kids do ha do they have helmets, but do they fit correctly. So tell us more about just, I mean, the importance of just getting that education out there, because like you said, you want to prevent these injuries and everything, and why it's so important for parents to bring their kids out to this to just reaffirm, you know, the, the safety tips that they need to know. So we have Officer Jackson coming. He's going to be doing some education on bicycle safety, and um, we've it's just important to make sure that you're safe and that your children are safe, not just during the summertime, but throughout the year. A lot of kids ride their bicycle to school. Mm -hmm. um, so we just want to make sure that we can prevent any unnecessary injuries. Yeah, we think that's a great mission for sure. So when do folks need to circle their calendar? What do they need to know for making their plans if they want to come to this event? May 15th from 3 to 6 p.m. It will be hosted at the Hereford Civic Center. And, you know, we're very proud of our community. Hereford is very supportive for events, and if anyone wants to make a donation um, towards this event, they can um, make that through um, Vicki De La Cruz at 806-349-9136. So important. Listen, save the date. I know you're thinking, hey, it's April, you know, we've, we've got a little under a month for this, but save the date and make sure that you can uh, bring your family and bring your kiddos. I want to talk about uh, Hereford Regional Medical Center. Uh, I'm proud of y'all. And let Thank me tell you, you why. Y'all have done some great things over there and have some super staff. And Candace, I know that you are just, just a little bit new to this. You've been in this industry forever. But, but tell us, give us an update on, on Hereford and your medical district and how uh, things are going over there at the at the hospital and clinics and uh, emergency. I mean, I think I think y'all are very proud of that. I don't think there's many towns in the Panhandle rural hospitals. I mean, it's a tough deal, and I think y'all do a great job. It is there. challenging for sure. Rural hospitals are so essential across the state of Texas and everywhere, and we do great things in Hereford. Yeah. We, we are working to um, expand our service line 
and make sure that we can provide what we need to the members of our community and surrounding areas. Good. Do we need nurses? Absolutely. Everywhere? Absolutely. We need them everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, I, I, I'm proud of y'all in, in the work that you do because it's not an easy deal. Man, rural care is hard and I think I think Hereford is a leader so uh, well, please know and, and I think also we have some good programs here regionally for, for nursing and uh, I, I think that's that's proud to do so uh, y'all need to come more where, where have y'all okay. been working I'm sure busy <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> yeah. yes, ma <laughs> busy and, and putting on uh, fairs and, and stuff well we're gonna keep telling everybody we've got a month to go I hope that you can come back before okay. or we can uh, come see y'all and, and wear that helmet kiddos please Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We hope to see you at our event. Yes, thank you so much, Sheldon. Listen, we and our uh, Reuben on the road. He's from Hereford. Oh yes. Yes. So he may be. Reuben. He may be. Co yeah. I he hope may to be. See him there. Yes. We'll we'll get Reuben to see how y'all are doing. Good. Okay. Good to see y'all.